world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are looking at this bad boy. This is a Lasher Kukri Machete. Okay, so this Lasher Kukri is proudly made in RSA. What's it inside? What does it say there? Sorry, I can't see. Buy South Africans for Africa. Okay. So buy South Africans for Africa. And then it's 90 years that Lasher has been in business. Okay. I haven't used this thing yet. But I cannot wait to start hacking at things. And it's springtime here by us. So it's the perfect time to start hacking things. Okay. 1095. What do they call this? poly something handle um it is quite nice okay it's grippy enough so it won't fly out of your hand it's got this wonderful little flare at the back so it's going nowhere it's got a bit of a choil over there it does have an unsharpened section so if you want to i don't know choke up and make little sticks um spiky sticks i suppose okay and then it is quite tip heavy so like all cookies so it will chop quite a lot it's not very thick but yeah it's not gonna flex on you easily okay um wonderful gardening implement okay and if you want to cut down non-woody things i suppose it's gonna work fantastic even some softer woods you can chop with this thing all day long just give me a second to go fight off a few kids are gone okay so um Lasher. The name comes from in mining. The people that have to take away rubble and rocks and things while they are mining. The task was called lashing. I have no idea why. Now the Scottish immigrants that came here to South Africa to work in the mines, they were called lashers. Okay. And they worked with shovels. And the first tool that Lasher made was shovels. It used to be something shovel company, I think. Okay. Um, if you want the full history on this, please go check out my previous video. I think it was something like Proudly South African Lasher Tools, something like that. I cannot remember. But in there, I do the whole history of the thing. Okay. I'm going to be chopping things with this. I'll give you an update at the later stage how it works. Because now I was just swinging it around playing pirate with myself. Um, wonderful tools. 1095 poly handles i think it's 1095 again go check that previous video i was more prepared then um but a wonderful tool and this thing is like 130 rand so i don't know less 10 dollars maybe 11 dollars so it's not an expensive thing and i know you can find them everywhere in the world um normally i saw and chop and change these things as i want them again check the previous video but this one I'm going to keep as is because it looks awesome. Look at that thing. That's a, okay. Well, not the one with the stickers. Look at it. That's a scary looking thing. I can't get the whole thing in at one go. Okay. But it's a fantastic machete, this. Okay. Maybe later we'll even make a sheath for it. I don't know. It depends if I want to go gardening on the fly. Um, but we'll see. Subscribe. Stay safe. Happy. And have a good one. Goodbye. Okay, and as I was going away, I was thinking, okay, some people do not like sharpening recurves. Okay, um, yeah, recurves can be tricky. Um, sharpening your normal belly is not a problem. You can do that on a stone or a grinder or pretty much anything you want. Okay, but sharpening bevels might seem tricky. And this thing comes sharp, but you can feel a burr on it. Okay, big enough to catch your thumb on. Okay, so you need to give it a little bit of a sharpening if you really want to use this. So normally what I do is just take any round object and then take a piece of, what's this stuff? This stuff, sandpaper. Put it around there and then you can sharpen your recurve like a boss. Okay, I hope that helps somebody that is struggling. Bye-bye. Thank you.